Myers looks for his first win of the year in year number three with the Lafayette Leopards. James Turco at the X first for Lafayette. Broke out against BU, had one of his best games at the X, trying to stay hot here. He can stretch you from range with that shot. What an outstanding start here on Senior Day. Holy Cross absorbs a lot of early offensive pressure from Lafayette. Right. It's a really competitive league, and that kind of maximizes what we said earlier about having to pick up wins where you can. Something interesting is I, I see them go to the face-off circle right now, Kevin. We were talking off-air before the game about how important face-offs would be. We've barely seen any face-offs today. The defense That's true. has been so good. We haven't seen many goals. But you talk about that first quarter, and you think about quality of chances on both sides. I, you wouldn't expect it to be a little bit going that quickly on the attack. But all of a sudden, a game that was 1-1, just moments ago is 3-1, and you have a face-off violation. But Cunniff found a way. And there you talk about a guy who might be in the running for Rookie of the Year in the conference against a preseason All-Patriots select. A crash course for most of the Crusaders, but they've been up to the test so far. One in four this season. They picked up a home win against Sacred Heart in the season opener right here at Kuzneski Field. They were down early in that game. They came back to pick up the victory in dramatic style. 11-10 the final, and J.L. Reppert said, I wasn't even so concerned about the win. I was just excited to see that this is a group of guys that are going to play hard for Holy Cross, and they will have no quit. Third quarter is underway. Man up. Holy Cross. Let's see what they can do with it. And we'll live see. carpet here at Kuzneski Field, huh? Yeah, I guess. I mean, I, I, I couldn't have imagined the way we first saw it, that that bounced up that high, but it did. We'll see if this opens things up. It's been an interesting game where there were no goals for a while in the first Team quarter. That's led. What a sizzler by Lambert. Did you see that low angle camera there near the end line? There was so much traffic in front, and somehow the sophomore attacking mid Five, five, and... Back to X, where Holy Cross has been the better team today, winning 7 out of 11 face-offs. And you feel like in a tight game, it's always true. Tight game, face-offs really important down the stretch. And that's DePiro's first loss at the X today. He had been 3-for-3 three three for Holy Cross. So opportunity knocking for the Leopards now. Lead yet in this contest. Jace Lambert made just one start last season for Holy Cross. Holy Cross goals with our number Finished with four goals. Unable to stop it and gets us back to a tied game. Good eye on the feed from Cecil, his third assist of the day. Give me that. Nice win at the X by Dean Carnival. Been a little bit tough to come by, but those two have done a good job setting it up for their teams. And I'm just taking a look at the line score, Kevin. It's kind of uh, fun and symmetrical to look at. It was 1-1 in the first quarter, 2-2 in the second quarter, 3-3 <laughs> in the third quarter. Gets us to 6-6 six, six right now. Comes the seventh different goal scorer for Lafayette today. So five and a half minutes. If you can win face-offs, you got a chance. But a big win on this face-off. Midi got turned around. Perfect offload on the assist as Lambert drew the attention.